Well, back in the bartending days, there were always stacks of coasters around and uh, ballpoint pens. And, and I was pretty insatiable when it came to drawing. So I was drawing all the time, any chance I could. So having those there, that was kind of, that's kind of where the coasters started out. I was applying to a lot of juried shows. So I was doing these paintings on saw blades that, but I would always throw in a picture or a slide of one of the coasters. That coaster always got in. So that's when it turned into a thing for me and it, when I really started drawing on them a lot. And it kind of replaced a sketchbook for me because I used to carry one around, but that, I, you know, I'd, be, I'd just be drawing on these coasters all the time. The cool things to be able to do is to be able to work out some problems on a little four inch by four inch format and then move on. Uh, in 2015, I did some, I did four pieces that were uh, inspired by Japanese wood blocks, tattoos. I've admired it so long, like it's it's been something that's ingrained, but I just didn't really, and the, the Japanese really kind of stood out. And to be able to revisit it is really cool. And, and it kind of keeps my interest in everything that I'm doing. I've really okay. gotten into it and enjoyed it. And, um, made it mine, which is, I don't think everybody always gets to do. It's been a fun little project. It's, it's something I've enjoyed doing quite a bit.